kicking of Valentine's uh, cards, etc. over the last couple of years, uh, some schools have started to ban the giving and receiving of cards oh. and gifts at school. I know, Denise. Well, actually, they say because it can create, and I quote, it can guard against the emotional trauma Ugh. of rejection. Oh, my goodness Ugh. me, please no. stop. No, no. I think that's just a little bit over the top. It's, it reminds me a little bit everything? of that thing of, like, you can't have any winners or losers. Everybody's a winner, so everyone gets a prize. I think that's a bit soft, and you've got to but toughen up but, and get a bit tougher. I don't agree. I think, it's, I, I think that's been around a while, because I remember talking about this a while yeah, ago when they would do well, Quite a lot of schools do it, because I agree, yeah, we can't keep banning things and you have to toughen up and life's hard and all of that, but it's even more hard now with social media, and I think kids can be really cruel. Yeah. And I think, you know, even when I was at school, which was years ago, <laughs> um, you know, there was always that one or two girls that maybe didn't get something. And, and while I'd go, oh, that's a shame, or I'd, I'd hide, if I'd got one, I'd hide it because I didn't want to upset them. Mm. There'd be other kids going, ha, 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 no yeah, wonder you didn't get I, one. I agree I with know, the really bad I, that is life. But the, I've been the girl that didn't get the card. Really? And, and, and it doesn't, it doesn't destroy you. It yeah, doesn't no, kill you, makes you stronger. And you've got to learn but resilience. some kids, it does. We it keep keeps... trying to say, build up people's self-esteem. Colleen, there's and I far worse things affecting. We have a 1.5 million waiting list of children trying to access mental health. That's what they should be looking at before before they start banning Valentine's Day. Well, that's not to a school. Valentine's that. cards used to be about be part, the secret cards. That could be that part, could be part, part of, of that, that it particular might affect child. Them in that. I, I would doubt really if we did a, a mental health. I would doubt if we did a survey that 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 the, the, the not getting a Valentine card would be would would be the thing. I just think I we're think falling into a that. habit of banning uh, banning everything. I think there's far more um, th there's far more practical ways of looking after kids' mental health and listening to them than banning Valentine's cards. The whole idea of a Valentine's card used to be not knowing who it was from, mm -hmm. and then you got your roses or red violet violets. And also, Sadly, social people. media has yeah. opened up the whole bullying sphere. Mm. But I just think that we can we can make in choices we can maybe educate children about sometimes you may get a card sometimes you won't but this constant banning of everything and this mandating of everything is just driving me up the wall it's taking yeah, away I agree I, I agree with that there is a lot of banning of this oh, banning of that God. but I mean that that Valentine's thing's been do? happening for years do say, what do you think they should do because well I realized that hurt. years and years ago That's life I don't even know how long ago it was but that isn't new no, it so was I remember excitement but to know if you it got made one. the schools were saying, I think it was when Sakira was at school, and they were saying, you can send Valentine's cards, but give them outside, outside of the school. school. Don't, don't bring them in and give them out in front of the whole class so that people that aren't getting them... So maybe them... it's about a way that you give the Valentine's cards yeah. rather than just banning and, them. And that's to your point about that whole, oh, give it in secret. And it was. I mean, I remember when I was at school, it was all about how did you get it to the person you wanted to give it to mm. in secret so you didn't get caught. And it would just that be was a thrill of it. question mark. It was, yeah, yeah. Exactly, exactly. But what if you were the kid that wasn't getting the card? Well, what if you're the kid that grows up and doesn't get love? I mean, this is this is reality. You can't cushion it. Can you protect everyone well, from the reality? Yeah, but me, me getting my card from Paul Bean, I don't want to be robbed of that excitement of getting is that a real it, person? The, that, that Paul Bean, I would have it's been a real Mrs. Bean. You'd have been Mrs. Bean. Bean. <laughs> and my sister was um, going out with Sydney Bean, his uh, brother. <gasps> um, the Beans. The Beans. At home with the Beans. And, um, but, you know, so uh, it... it it, it may sound unkind, it's not meant unkind. You know mm. that I'm a huge mental health advocate, especially mm -hmm. for children. But, you know, certain things are taken out of perspective at, at, at the moment. But um, I really think it's more about education, but I don't think it's fair to take the fun out of it. Like you said, mm. Sophie, with the sports days, life is about, uh, it's about winning. It takes the fun... I mean, I was always rubbish at sports day. I never won a thing. I was always the person given the, the thing of putting... Yeah, but right now it's annoying the that they stop winning in sports days now. You're like, what? you can't, that's, no that's one's a winner or loser. Well, I mean. Isn't that the thing? You, if you don't excel there, you can excel somewhere else and mm. you can be exactly. a winner somewhere else.